We begin right away with breaking news as we come on the air tonight. This man is on the run from police. Take a look at your screen. David Johnson faces charges in two deaths or faced charges rather in two deaths when he was mistakenly released from jail. And tonight, 10 TV has confirmed he's now a suspect in another homicide. That latest killing happened just this week and left a young father to be dead. One month ago, police say Johnson was involved in the death of his one year old son, and one year ago he was arrested in a murder case. 10 TV was first to break this story today on our 10 TV app, and tonight we have an exclusive report. Crime Tracker 10's Lacey Chris spoke with family members of the young man killed just this week. She's live tonight with the update. Lacey. Well, he was let out of jail on an air. Now Columbus police have charged David Johnson in a homicide that happened two days ago. And the last thing I seen was him coming out with his vape and they shot him at least four times. And I got, after I got out the car and the suspects started running. Victoria Perez was with her boyfriend, 21 year old Andrew Combs, early Wednesday morning. When they stopped at the Sunoco on West Broad. She stayed in the car while Combs went inside. Columbus police say Combs tried to stop an armed robbery and was then shot. And I held his hand and he kept saying, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. And I just and I just kept screaming, I needed help. Thursday night, Columbus police searched a home 500 feet away from the gas station, the home of David Johnson III. In April 2021, Columbus police say Johnson got into a fight inside this house, shot and killed a man and injured a woman. He was out on bond in November when police say Johnson admitted to having drugs with him. According to court records, Johnson's one year old son ingested some of those drugs and died. Johnson was indicted on charges related to the infant's death. The judge for the 2021 case revoked his bond. But as the judge told me last week, someone made a mistake and the paperwork was not properly filed. On November 29th, Johnson was released from jail. He's been on the run since. I don't know why they released that dude. I don't know. Perez is pregnant with their child, a little boy, and she's due in May. She had a name picked out. Now, she says, she'll name him after his late father, saying Combs will be missed. He showed me what it, what it was for somebody to love me. With And just a couple of hours ago, murder charges were filed against Johnson and Caden Allen. Now, if you have any idea where Johnson is, you are asked to call Columbus Police because he is still on the run. Reporting live, Lacey Crisp, 10 TV News. Lacey, thank you. As Lacey mentioned, she talked with a judge last week about the mistake that led to Johnson being released from jail in the first place. Here's part of that interview. He was released on the 29th. Correct. What happened? It is my understanding by just doing more research that an administrative error occurred in the filing of the document revoking his bond such that the jail was not notified and that is likely why he was released. Now here's a closer look at the cases tied to Johnson. Back on November 18th, Johnson's one year old son was found unresponsive. According to court documents, Columbus police found large amounts of fentanyl, meth and cocaine inside of the house. In the documents, Johnson admitted to selling and possessing the drugs. The Franklin County coroner says the baby died from a drug overdose. Johnson was charged with involuntary manslaughter. And 10 TV was there last April when Columbus police say Johnson got into a fight inside the same home. They accused him of shooting and killing a man and injuring a woman. Johnson was 19 at the time. Central Ohio's news leader has kept you informed first about these major developments in this case. We'll continue to do so on our 10 TV app. You can download it to have breaking news alerts sent straight to you wherever you are.